Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What is a mixing bar about? I would customize and mix a face mask for you on the spot mm -hmm. based on your skin type or based on the ingredients that you would want in it. Now, yes, you could want turmeric, but turmeric may not necessarily what your skin needs. So I would advise you accordingly what would be good for your skin after my assessment with you. And that's something important that you always need to, to think about when you're buying a new product to try out. Test it first. Which you would not get in a major store. You wouldn't get to test a product. Most times not. So you actually have to buy the product and take it home and test it. Yeah. However, I have all the products here to test. Right. So basically, if you put on a product for somebody here, you will give them what ten minutes with the product on. Ideally, it takes a little bit. Of, it takes about average twenty minutes. Sometimes irritations happen right away, depending. Um, you know, just leave them 10, 10, 15 minutes. Let them browse around the store. Let them see how they feel, and if they feel good, they go ahead and they purchase. So this is bath sensations. Hey Kim. Hey Sean, what's up? I am just in the area, so I decided to pop in. Nice. Well, you came just in time because I'm making a fresh batch of face masks. Come oh. do one with me. Bad man do face masks. What do you mean, bad man do face masks? Bad Look at this. Face mask. Feel that. It actually does feel good. What is the purpose of doing a mask? Well, help cleanse your face. Pull out, take out some of those blackheads and whatnot. How do you know I have blackheads? It's yeah. very obvious very obvious and all that redness that's going on from the sun and um, those pores mm -hmm. that I can see it will help diminish those pores you ready no why as I say bad man do mask but yeah but if bad man want to look good six day years from now you right. should start taking care of your skin right yeah no yeah understand yeah you can't have your wife looking like 20 and you looking like 80. What is this for? It's to keep all the hair back. <laughs> yeah, we make sure your hair doesn't get any on it. You can be there? What do you mean you're not going to be? I feel strange. Mm. So, this is the mixture. It's neem, kaolin mm. clay, mm. bentonite clay, mm -hmm. French green clay. clay. Clays, yeah. It's a clay mask. Okay. Right, I would have mixed this one with water. So what? So basically, we have the same type of skin because you said that you were it, making a face mask for yourself. I did, but and you, then when were I you saw experimenting, you... and then you decided to experiment on me? Yes. So I added in some additional <laughs> ingredients when I off. found my victim. We could just pull it out, right, make cool. sure it's comfy. So usually you put all the hair back because you don't want your mask to get into your hair mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, right? And then we mix. And we apply. So I, I did is, not shave. That's is okay. it going to pull? Is it going to no, rip it's off? No, it's a wash off type of mask. Oh, it's wash off. So it's not going to pull off any of it. So there are, there are different types of masks because the only thing that I've seen like my wife use is that kind of mask. Yeah, but that's really painful. Oh, you're going to yeah. go home looking like a tomato. Okay, cool. Right? So you ready? Mm hmm. Sure? This is scary. Go <laughs> Well, do you want me to warm it up? I'll put it, it out just, in the sun. It was just shocking. I'll put it out in the sun. This is the weirdest sensation ever. What sensation are you feeling though? It's like ice on one side. Why did you do this to me? Because you came in at the most opportune moment. When I was making a face mask, I had extra and I just... Yeah. And we have a special running today and tomorrow. Free face mask. Serious? Mm hmm So what makes mask so great? It cleanses the skin, it helps pull out all the impurities, and it helps the blackheads to remove them. I feel like I feel like it's removing my nose right now. Yeah. Because that's where most of your blackheads are, and also it helps minimize the appearance of your pores. 
how would somebody choose a face mask? So in other words, like what made you use this face mask? No, you said that you were doing a face mask for mm -hmm. yourself, but what made you think that it will also work on me? So how would you choose a face mask? Well, I was using the basic mix of a face mask, which would be like the kaolin clay, the bentonite clay, and the neem. And then when you came in and I looked at your skin, I said, okay, so for the redness and for the poor minimization, I'll add some French green clay to it. And I'll just add some Mutani Mitty clay to just help. <coughs> what? what? What kind of clay? What? Mutani Mitty. It's a clay from India. Oh, okay. Right? So it's really, really nice. You can't turn my face. That's okay. Just have a small I'm bit. smelling this thing in my face. I can't smell it. You're smelling that. rose. That's what you're smelling because I scented it with rose essential oil because I noticed that your skin was a bit sensitive. Could be because you came out of the sun and it was a little bit red. So I didn't want to use anything that would be too harsh on your skin. So what I did was I used some rose essential. Oh, this is so. This is what it feels like when you go to like the mud volcano. Yeah, yeah, and you come out and you leave the mud on you. Yeah. I'm afraid to move, actually. But I admit it, it's not so bad. No, it's not bad. I mean, I had absolutely no expectations. I thought it was just like put on something and then you just take it off. I mm -hmm. didn't expect this. Okay. How do I look? When should you use a face mask? Ideally, you should use it like twice to three times a week. Really? Yeah, yeah. And just as much as you exfoliate, you should exfoliate between two to three times a week. Your face mask about two to three times a week as well. So what's the difference between this and just like wash it? Just now. Give me yeah. a second. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Form the I know. I'm trying. What? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference between the sun, like just washing your face? Well, this this goes a little bit extra because we when you wash when you wash your face, you're basically washing off the product in what less than thirty seconds maybe. Yeah. But in this instance, you're actually leaving the product on. For like maybe 15 15 minutes about that much so it actually gets the work into the skin a lot better because I heard someone told me at one point that your f skin absorbs something like absorbs your surroundings in 90 eight... seconds yes, yes it was that whatever you put onto your skin it goes into your bloodstream within 90 seconds I you see, remember your skin is the largest organ in right. the body, right? Mm -hmm. With under your feet having the largest pores. So anything you rub under your feet absorbs even faster than anywhere else on your body. So is this like all that a person really needs to like maybe put a mask on or is there anything else that you would recommend that they no, do? You need I mean to I have see you have scrubs and so forth, but I see that you also have scrubs. I'm trying to move my face. But like, what's the purpose of a scrub versus like a mask? Right. So a uh, scrub will just take off all the dead skin on the surface. Right. The face mask, leaving it on your face for a longer period. Not that I care that I'm a man. I don't use these things. But, but you anyway. should. Yeah. Yeah. Someone... Bad, bad man should face mask. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So if what's you, the difference between a if scrub? If you wanna be a bad man, you should uh, you should ideally be a good looking bad man. Right. right. So how long do I, th how long do you think that I need to leave this on You're again? You're good to go, you know, you can wash it off because everything is falling off already. Serious? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. My face is big. <laughs> Sorry, you got all our napkins. SYW Media, the content creator for small businesses who think outside the local box.